Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Coding with Stefania. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Code Spell Checker extension for Visual Studio Code. Code Spell Checker is a great way to catch spelling mistakes or errors in your code and in your comments. It can really help you to improve the quality of your code and documentation. If you write a word incorrectly, you will see a squiggly line below it, and you can fix it with the very helpful suggestions that the extension will give you. So let's begin! Here we are in Visual Studio Code. The first thing that you need to do to install this extension is go to the extensions panel and then you search for Code Spell Checker. The first result that you're gonna get has more than 7 million downloads. That is exactly what you're going to install. Let's install it. And once you have it installed, then you will notice a difference. Here, if I go to my code folder, my JavaScript file, and for example, I write a comment. This is a comment. Well, right now we don't have any typos or spelling mistakes, but now if I, let's say, delete one of these M's, I do see something different. I see a blue squiggly line below the word. That is the warning that the extension is giving us. We see that comment is an unknown word. And we can see the suggestions that the extension is giving us by clicking here on quick fix or using the keyboard shortcut that we can see next to it. If we click on it, we will see eight suggestions by default. And we can click on it to replace it or we can also just add the missing letter manually and that would be faster. But the great thing about this is that you can visually see where the typos are. And this works in code too. Let's say that I define a function here and I am going to make this function print a particular number. For that, I am going to use console.log. Let's pass the number as an argument. And this is just a simple example, but let's introduce a typo here. Let's say that instead of number, I just write this, nuber. I see that nuber is an unknown word. And I see the warning even if the word is inside my code, so it works for both comments and the code itself. It also works for functions if I write them incorrectly. We see that this is an unknown word as well. So that can be super helpful. Another thing that you will notice here is that on this status bar, the status bar that we can see here at the bottom, you will see these warnings or notifications or information at the bottom here at the on the status bar. If you click here and you open the problems tab, you will see that Nuber is an unknown word, exactly what we have here. And if you click on it, you will go directly to that problem in the file. You will also see the status here. We see that we have one spell issues or warnings. Great, now you know how the extension works. So now let's go to the settings and see how you can customize them. If you go to the extensions panel and let's just delete my previous search here and I go to the extension settings by clicking on the gear icon and the extension settings, I can go to these settings and customize them. Let's go through some of the most important ones real quick to give you an idea of what you can do here. First of all, you don't need to enable or disable the extensions to enable or disable the spell checker. If at some point you don't want to have these, these warnings or hints anymore, then you can just uncheck this and you will be disabling all the warnings or the, the squiggly lines in your files. And you can just check this again to enable it and you will see them again. You can check this as well if you want the words to match the case and the accent rules. So you can enable this or disable this to match case and accent rules. You can also define custom dictionaries to be included by default. This is like more advanced and you may not need to customize this. For the extension, you may use the default values, the default dictionaries. You can also include a list of words to always be considered incorrect. If you want to do this, then you just need to write a single word entry, or you can also include suggestions following this format. You click on add item, and here you write the item that you want to consider as incorrect, the word. You click on okay, or in this case, cancel. We're not going to add them here, but you know that you can do this. We can also include a list of words to be ignored by the spell checker, and we can change our current active spelling language. We can choose, for example, British English, 
or we can enable multiple languages like English and Dutch because also if you go here to the extensions panel and you write code spell checker you will see that it also has spell checking in other languages here like Spanish, Brazilian Portuguese and many other languages like this. Okay, so you can install the extension for your language. We can also include a list of words to be considered correct. And with this setting in particular is super helpful, the diagnostic level. Issues found by the spell checker are marked with a diagnostic severity level. This affects the color of the squiggle, of the squiggly line that we can see here. By default, it's information. So you will see if we go back here to information you will see the squiggly line in blue, but if we change this to warning, for example, you will see the squiggly line in a, an orange brownish color, which is a higher level of severity. And we can also take that to an error as well. And in that case, that is the highest level. We will see a red squiggly line and the name of the file will also be in red when we have one of those errors. The severity level will also be reflected here on the status bar. Now you will see an error, which is the highest severity level that you can have. Great, awesome. We can also reduce or lower the severity level to a hint. By default, it's information, but hint is even more subtle. And in this case, you will only see like these three little dots below the word. And I would suggest keeping the default because these little dots are almost like invisible and it's very easy to miss them. You will not see them here anymore on the status bar or on the problems tab. So I suggest keeping information level or higher. You can also reduce or increase the maximum number of times that the same word can be flagged as an error in a file. So if you write the same word with, a, with the same typo multiple times, more than five times, they will not be checked. Okay, so let's say that I write comment here with just one M. If I write comment four times, five times, I see the squiggly line. But if I write it a sixth time, I will not see it highlighted here, okay? So that is the maximum number of times by default, but you can increase it or decrease it. And we can also control the maximum number of spelling errors per document. We have 100 here, 100 squiggly lines that we can have as the maximum number of warnings or spelling errors. We can also change the minimum length of a word before checking it against a dictionary. Right now it's four. So if we write, for example, here, the word you, this word has three letters, right? So it will not be checked against a dictionary. If you write a typo, if you introduce a typo here like this, this will not be checked because by default, the value is four, minimum of four letters. But if I change this to two, for example, and then I go back to my file, I will see that this is an unknown word. And if I fix it, it will be fixed. So I personally suggest setting this to two but you can also keep the default value of four. It's basically based on your needs for your project. You can also control the number of suggestions shown. Let me show you this. If you write a word with a typo like this, like Nuber <laughs> instead of number, here, if we go to quick fix, we will see eight suggestions, but you can change that. Let's say that you only want to see three suggestions. Let, let's change this. No, no, 33 is too much, three. Okay, thank you. Three, and now if I click on quick fix, I only see three suggestions, okay? That is also super helpful. You can reset these settings at any time by clicking on the gear icon next to them and clicking on reset setting. We can also show autocomplete suggestions and we can show the status in the status bar like this. This uh, status that you can see over here on the status bar at the bottom and we can also show the status, display the spell checker status on the status bar. Here you can see that we have one issue. But if I disable this, I will not see the status anymore. I will not see it here anymore. And those are the main settings that I would suggest like customizing or keeping in mind for future reference for this extension. Okay, there are many, many settings. Awesome, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next video.